In this problem, we're told a block is given an initial speed of 4.5 meters per second up a 22 degree plane shown in this figure. A, how far up the plane will it go, and B, how much time elapses before it returns to its starting point. Ignore friction. So let's draw what's going on here. So we have this plane, and they give it to you in the figure, but imagine this is going to be our plane. And so we know that the degree or angle of this is going to be 22 degrees. So 22 degrees. And then we also know that we're going to have this block on it, right? So here's our block. So this is going to be our block. And so keep in mind, this is the ground. So that's that. And so what you want to do in this problem is you're going to label the x and y axis to be uh, how I show it to be. So the x axis is just going to be this line right here. So imagine it's like at the angle. Just imagine this is your x axis right here. So x. And then your y axis is going to be uh, perpendicular to this line. So you can draw this wherever you want. I'm going to just draw it straight down the middle. So like this. This will be your y axis. And so now that we've got that out of the way, let's write down what we're given. So what are we told? So we're told that the initial velocity uh, is going to be 4.5 meters per second up this way, right? So v sub 0 x, right? So our initial velocity in the x direction, which we labeled this as x, right? So since it's at an angle, we can just say that it's just going to be this, right? So 4.5 meters per second. So that's the initial velocity in the x direction. What else do we know? So keep in mind for A, it's saying how far up the plane will it go? So like it's going to go up, but it's going to be slowing down. And at some point, it's going to stop. And at that point, its velocity is going to be 0. So we're going to say V, V sub X, right? So the final velocity of X is just 0 meters per second. So they're trying to find it when uh, the final velocity is 0 meters per second. And then so we don't know what A is. So if I write A equals question mark, we don't know what that is. And so what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how far up the plane will it go. So how far up is going to be a distance. I'm going to call it delta x. So our change in the x-axis, our change in the x-position. And so that's what we're going to be solving for. And so notice how if we want to solve for delta x, if we use the kinetic equation or kinematic equation, v squared equals v sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta x, if we can solve for a, we'll be able to solve for delta x. So we need to solve for a. So how do we do it? How do we solve for a? So there's a really handy formula that you can use if you're given an angle and you want to calculate uh, you want to calculate the acceleration at an angle like this, right? So the acceleration of our x. And so the formula is going to be a sub x equals g times the sine of theta. So theta is just your angle right here, so 22 degrees. Your acceleration would be uh, the acceleration, right? What we're solving for g is just gravity. So if we go ahead and solve for this, a sub x equals g, which we know is uh, minus 9.8 times the sine of theta, which is 22 degrees, right? So the sine, the degree of our incline. So minus 9.8 times the sine of 22. If you go ahead and solve for this, you're going to get minus 3.67 meters per second squared. So now we solve for this. What we can do is plug it into this and actually solve. So minus 3.67 meters per second squared. So now we just got to plug in. So let's go ahead and do that. So V is going to be zero. 0 squared is 0, equals v sub 0, 4.5 squared, plus 2 times a, which is minus 3.67, what we just solved for, times delta x. So if we minus this to the other side, minus 4.5 squared, minus 4.5 squared, so minus 4.5 squared is equal to 2 times minus 3.67, times delta x, divide both sides by 2 times minus 3.67 to get it by itself. So essentially, delta x is going to be equal to minus 4.5 squared over 2 times minus 3.67. So if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get it equals about 2.75 meters. So this right here is going to be your answer to A. So this is A. So how far up the plane? We're going to go 2.75 meters up this way. And now we're trying to find how much time elapses before it returns to its starting point. So it's going to go up like this, 2.75 meters, and then it's going to go back down. So what we want to do is solve for uh, the time this is going to take. So the way I want you to think about this is since this is like a frictionless plane, the amount of time it takes going up is going to be the same amount of time it takes to go back down. right? So if we can find the amount of time it takes just to go up to the highest point and times it by 2, right? because up, down is twice that, we'll be able to find the total time. 
So essentially, we just got to use one of the kinematic equations. In this case, I'm going to use this one, v equals v sub 0 plus a times t, right? Because we know all these. Uh, we know v, it's 0. We know v sub 0, and we know a. And so we can solve for t by doing this. So let's go ahead and do that. So v is going to be 0, which equals v sub 0 plus a. a is negative, so it's just going to be minus 3.67 times t. So if I move this to the other side, minus 4.5 is equal to minus 3.67t. And then if I divide both sides by minus 3.67, t is going to be equal to minus 4.5 over minus 3.67. And so if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get t equals 1.226 or about that. So 1.226. And then what you're going to want to do is multiply this by 2, right? Because this is the total time it takes just to go to the top. But we know the time is just twice that to go up and down. So just multiply by 2. And so your total time, right, is going to be about 2.45 seconds. So this right here is going to be your answer. So the amount of time it's going to take is 2.45 seconds. And so that's going to be your answer to, this is your answer to B. So B, 2.45 seconds is going to be the time before it returns to its starting point. This is your answer to A, 2.75 meters. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.